The Drifters Then and Now The Drifters are several American doo-wop and R&B slash soul vocal groups. They were originally formed as a backing group for Clyde McFadder. The second group of Drifters, formed in 1959 and led by Ben E. King, were originally an up-and-coming group named The Five Crowns. After 1965 members drifted in and out of both groups and many of these formed other groups of Drifters as well. Several groups of Drifters can trace roots back to these original groups, but contain few if any original members. In this video we are going to focus on the Drifters then and now. On our channel we feature such videos. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to our channel for such. Charlie Thomas Charles Thomas, born April 7, 1937, is an American singer best known for his work with the Drifters. Treadwell recruited the Five Crowns to become the New Drifters. The New Drifters' first release was the 1959 hit, There Goes My Baby. Charlie was lead singer on two of the group's top 40 hits, Sweets For My Sweet, and When My Little Girl Is Smiling. Charlie Thomas was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1988 as a member of the Drifters and was given a Pioneer Award by the Rhythm and Blues Foundation in 1999. On May 21, 2011, in Cranston, Rhode Island, Thomas and the Drifters performed at the Vintage New England Theatre. He is 85 years old. Clyde McFadder Clyde Lensley McFadder, born November 15, 1932, was an American rhythm and blues, soul, and rock and roll singer. He was one of the most widely imitated R&B singers of the 1950s and early 1960s. After his tenure with the Dominoes, McFadder formed his own group, The Drifters, and signed to Atlantic. They recorded a few tracks in June 1953, including a song called, Lucille, written by McFadder himself. This group of Drifters did not have the sound Atlantic executives were looking for, however, and Clyde was prompted to assemble another group of singers. In late 1954, McFadder was inducted into the U.S. Army and assigned to special services in the continental United States, which allowed him to continue recording. After his tour of duty, he left the Drifters and launched a solo career. Just after his military discharge, McFadder recorded his first solo hit, Love Has Joined Us Together, with Ruth Brown. He released several R&B recordings in the next few years, including Rock and Cry. McFadder's career took a downward turn, as musical styles and tastes were constantly changing during the 1960s. McFadder turned to alcohol abuse, sporadically releasing recordings that failed to chart. In 1968, McFadder moved to England, where he still had something of a following. McFadder returned to the US in 1970, making a few appearances in rock and roll revival tours, but lived mostly as a recluse. In 1972, he died in his sleep at the age of 39, of complications of heart, liver, and kidney disease, brought on by alcohol abuse behavior fueled by a failed career. Bill Pinckney Willie Bill Pinckney, born August 15, 1925, was an American performer and singer. He was chiefly responsible for its early sounds. As an original group member, Bill Pinckney was a 1988 inductee into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with the Drifters. In 1958, George Treadwell, the group manager fired all of the individual Drifters and hired all new singers, the Crowns, signing them under the Drifters' name. Pinckney was forced to leave. Pinckney quickly created a group called the Original Drifters, made up of key members of the first, 1953-58, association. Pinckney's Original Drifters was consistently popular throughout the southeastern United States. Leaders such as President Bill Clinton and President Nelson Mandela of South Africa recognized Pinckney's contributions. Pinckney died on July 4, 2007 from a heart attack, at age 81 while staying at the Daytona Beach Hilton. Ben E. King Benjamin Earl King, born September 28, 1938, was an American soul and R&B singer and record producer. He is best known as one of the principal lead singers of the R&B vocal group The Drifters, notably singing the lead vocals of one of their biggest global hit singles. In May 1960, King left The Drifters, assuming the stage name Ben E. King in preparation for a solo career. Remaining with Atlantic Records on its ATCO imprint, King scored his first solo hit with the ballad, Spanish Harlem, 1961. King's records continued to place well on the Billboard Hot 100 chart until 1965. King returned to the Drifters in late 1982 in the United Kingdom, and sang with them until the group's breakup and reorganization in 1986. King was active in his charitable foundation, the Stand By Me Foundation, which helps to provide education to deserving youths. 
On November 11, 2010, he performed Stand By Me at the Latin Grammys with Prince Royce. King toured the United Kingdom in 2013 and played concerts in the United States as late as 2014, despite reported health problems. Following a brief illness, he died on April 30, 2015, at the age of 76. Johnny Moore John Darrell Moore, born December 15, 1934, was an American rhythm and blues singer with the Drifters. Moore had a string of hits with the group as the lead in the 1960s, such as Saturday Night at the Movies. He remained with the group touring the United Kingdom from early 1970 to 1998, establishing him as the group's longest-serving member. In 1982, exhausted, he left the group and then launched his own group based in London. Moore died in 1998 en route to London's Mayday Hospital at age 64, the cause of death was ruled to be pneumonia. Thank you for watching, remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. See you on the next video.